today's Excel tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to link several worksheets together within a workbook and how to enter data simultaneously into those linked worksheets and how to copy data from another worksheet into the linked worksheets. And at the end, we'll show you how to consolidate data from several worksheets into a master worksheet uh, where you can do a consolidation report of all the worksheets that are included. So just to get started, I'm going to show you how to link several worksheets and then how to enter data simultaneously into those linked worksheets. So let's just create a couple of dummy worksheets. So there's one sheet nine, sheet 10. Okay, so first of all, to link them, you hold the control key and click, and you'll see that those two are now linked by this dark line underneath the two of them. If there's a whole lot that you want to link and they're all adjacent, you could press the shift key, press the first one, click the first one and the last one, and it will do the same thing. So now, if we wanted to just enter data into both of these, the same data, fresh data, so I'll just enter anything, I'll put 23, press enter, and we're on sheet 10, it's got the 23, if I go to sheet 9, it's also got the 23, so simultaneously, uh, that data was entered in both those sheets because they were linked. So let's delete the data. So I'm deleting it in sheet 9. Now if we go to sheet 10, there's nothing there. It's also deleted because they linked. So now another way to get data into these linked sheets is to uh, press the equal sign and go to another worksheet select a cell so we're going to select that cell now you press enter if you don't if you navigate away from this and you haven't pressed enter you lose the whole string so pressing enter and you'll see sheet 10 has got a day written in there and sheet 9 has got a day written in there but and have you noticed that the formatting from the source spreadsheet wasn't copied over but you can still add formatting whatever you like in these two spreadsheets at the same time um, the other thing that's quite useful if we take that and we just populate you'll see it puts in what was in that original thing which is the numbers of the days so you can also populate uh, from the source document. Now, the important thing here is, let's say we, we wanted to, and you could populate across as well. You could populate across as well. So you can do all that. But let's say now we're in sheet nine. If I delete everything like that, go to sheet 10, uh, they weren't linked, so it didn't get rid of it there. So because I clicked on another uh, worksheet, it unlinked these two, but I can still delete that. So we'll delete those. And then I want to go back to the original sheet. You'll see uh, both sheets now have no data in them because I deleted it. Now, if I go back to the original sheet, you notice it hasn't affected that sheet. So if I delete in these sheets here, it's not going to affect my source where I got my data from. Now, if, you, if you've if you been working with uh, cells, uh, sheets that are linked, it's important to unlink them. Otherwise, every time you enter something in one sheet, it's going to be entered in, in another sheet. And if you don't intend that, it can be a bit of a headache. So, just to show you how to unlink them, I've already showed you one method, which is to just click on another worksheet. But uh, let's say I'm just going to link them again. And another way to do it is to hover on them, 
right click and it says here ungroup sheets you click that and you've ungrouped them so that's another way to ungroup them and very important to remember that otherwise you can end up with an absolute mess so now we're moving along and I want to show you how to do calculations from data from several sheets and consolidate them into a single sheet so I've already created this consolidation sheet this is a rainfall spreadsheet uh, it's got all kinds of data in it um, over several years and let's say we wanted to consolidate this data find out what our monthly averages are and uh, what our annual averages are over the years that we've been recording now I've already created a consolidated sheet that is formatted uh, very much the same as all the other sheets you've got to make sure that all the tables are set up the same so that a particular cell like that contains the same data all the way through all the sheets otherwise it's not going to work so this is january the 8th so all of all january the 8th should be the same cell address which is b10 you can see it there so if i go to one of the others now and i go to january the 8th and I click on there b10 and you've got to make sure that all your spreadsheets are set up the same otherwise it's not going to you're not going to be able to consolidate the data accurately so first of all let's say we wanted to sum all the data so we'll go to our consolidated one go to january the first so the first thing we do is equals and sum And then we go to our source, which is that one. We're selecting that square. I want to now link all of those years. Now they linked. That's our source. If you, and here's our formula. You can see it's rainfall 2016. Then there's a colon, which means everything between 2016 and 20 is included. And all the B3s are included. Now, you can close brackets if you want to, but if you just press enter, Excel will close the brackets for you and give you the answer. So let's do that. Now, if we go to the consolidated one, there was nothing in any of the January 1st cells. But... Now, the interesting thing is I can take this and populate that formula all the way down to there. Let go. Now you can see it's picked up where there has been rainfall. And then we can populate across as well to there. Let go. Now it's put in all the figures for me. So now I can work with these figures. Let's say I wanted to get monthly averages and i wanted to get an average of all five years so let's go here so now if i wanted to work out what the average rainfall is for each month over the five years and the total rainfall average over the five years that's 2016 to 2020 we can put in a formula so we'll go equals this cell divided by five years and we'll press enter and there we have it so the average in january over the five years is 17 now we can populate all the way across to there and there we have it so February is 19 these are the all the averages for those months and that's the yearly average over those five years so that's a way to consolidate
data from several worksheets, put them into one worksheet and make some sense of them. Now in this example, I used the sum formula, but you can use any formula you like. Um, it works the same. And uh, if you want to know more about constructing formulas, uh, just watch the video on the top of the screen at the moment. Now, just a couple of final points. The first is that if we update any of these figures here, uh, it will update our consolidated report at the same time. So I'm just going to put here the total for January was 85, just so that we can remember it. And I'll go to any of these years and I'll put in a fictitious amount of 10 and enter. We go back to our consolidated. You see it was 85, now it's 95. So we can update uh, our consolidated report with any changes that we make in our source documents. The other point I just wanted to demonstrate, just I just want to get rid of that 10 we put in there, just so that we don't mess up the figures. So we're back to 85 now. The other point is, just remembering that 85, if I changed, just to show you the importance of having all your spreadsheets exactly the same, so that each cell address is equivalent, if we go here now and we add a row, a column, insert a column, there we go. Now, let's go back to our consolidated, and you see I've got 548 because it's added all the days of the month and calling them rainfall. It was 85, now it's 580, 548. So that just shows the importance of having all your tables, all your spreadsheets set up exactly the same, otherwise it's not going to work. So let's just undo that as well. Now we haven't discussed working with multiple worksheets from different workbooks. Uh, it is possible and it's a slightly different process, very similar, uh, but we'll leave that for another day. Now if you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And we'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions, just scroll down to the bottom of the video and leave us a message in the comments section there. Thank you very much for watching.